Hello YouTube, this is Ben Ben Dwelling in Vancouver, and um, I'm gonna, there's been more developments in uh, all of this harassment and, and weird shit that's been going on around me. Um, and so, uh, I'm just gonna show you what happened to me over the last couple days, and, um, and I don't know, just, uh, I'll let you guys decide what the fuck is going on. I don't know. Okay, I just found this bit of damage on my uh, intake hose for my fuel line. Going into the carburetor here. Now, this doesn't make any sense. This little metal flap can't do that kind of a damage. What was he just doing to my van? This looks like he has tools and everything in there. I saw him with a measuring tape. Put the measuring tape away and now he's acting like a bum? I don't know. I'm gonna get his ID at least. There we go. You know, if you were looking for collecting anything, yeah, you would have gone straight for those cans. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, something very odd just happened. See this gent walking away with the blue jeans? Oh, we met him last year. His name is uh, Marcelio, I believe. Now, what he did is he actually cruised in on a bike that's not really the right size for him. And he parked it right beside that tree. And then he walked over to where that can's sitting. And I thought he was going to grab the can and go back to his bike. But he just looked around and then walked away from the bicycle. Now, last year when I met him, he warned me about not staying in the park during the summertime because it attracts bad people at night. I'm thinking, he's testing to see if I'm one of those bad people or not. Because he lives in the neighborhood. He's one of the, he's one of the locals. He's lived around here for 40 years now. And do you see how he looks back at the bike to see if it's gone or not? Yeah, this is a test. I'd say this is a local test. I don't think he remembers my van. Okay, the bike is still there. Marcellio, Marcellio, whatever his name is, has not returned. Now, I was about to go to breakfast, but now the suspense is killing me. Are they trying, are they trying to entrap me? Uh, like, is, is the community neighborhood watch trying to entrap me, or... Is this actually something else going on? Like, is he trading this bike over to somebody and are there drugs in it? Or are there microfilms? Or why did he just leave it here? See, okay, the suspense is actually killing me. I gotta find out. Look who has arrived.
Why are they both just staring at me? Shouldn't speak ill about people when they've done a good turn for you, buddy. See, that bike's way too small for him. It's obviously like a kid's bike. And somebody just ground up their front bumper. You know, that bike you were riding was a little too small for you. Me? The bike you were riding was a little too small for you. The bike that you left up against the tree there, it's a little too small for you. The bike? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. The bike you were riding earlier. No, I never, I never used bike. No. no? No. Hmm. Must have been somebody that looked just like you. No, no. Are you smoking? Sorry? You smoking? Smoking? Yeah. Smoking what? Cigarettes. Not anymore? Yeah. No. No? I used to. Okay, thank you. No, no marijuana, cigarettes, really cigarettes. Yeah, no, I only smoke weed. Okay, thank you. Okay, now pay attention to the words that he used, because up until now, we have bumped cigarettes off of each other. We've asked each other for cigarettes, and this time he didn't ask me for a cigarette. He asked me if I was smoking, um, as if to find out whether or not a certain fact was true or not uh, that he's hearing from other sources. So, I mean, obviously, uh, somebody's feeding this guy some... some, uh, some information or something he's part of some kind of um some kind of private citizenry that's been harassing me constantly living in my van um so i mean it's it's disheartening to see oh, yeah. two women two women talking behind my van here loudly enough for me to hear it along with the volume of traffic. Yeah. All right. So we got some technology they're showing us here tonight. This white beam in the middle here is actually some kind of phasing uh, laser. Uh, every time he holds it up, my uh, camera goes out of focus. Take a look at the way his beams are spread. These are uh, specialized headlights for his car. I wonder who this is. Should we get a license plate? I think we should. Oh yeah, they've been using a directional speaker. There's two men and a woman in there, and they've been having a conversation and using a directional speaker uh, so that uh, their conversation arrives in my van uh, just at the same volume as the traffic so that, you know, there's some kind of psychological you know, technique going on there. So I think I'm hearing things. He actually got out of the car. That's interesting. Hmm. 
Alright, license plate. Hey there. Anything I can help you with? No? You sure? Okay, now something I want you to understand about that video is that um, I was aimed fully within that car. They had iPhones on, they had electronics on. Um, you know, I should have gotten dash lights. I should have gotten iPhone lights. Um, I was in focus. That one green light that you saw, that was that, um, that little device that was sending my camera out of focus from a distance whenever, whenever it blinked on and off. And, um, I mean, uh, I, I was actually stunned, uh, when I saw that it was all blacked out and I was wondering, how is that possible? I should have gotten some light. And in this, in, in that video that you just saw, it, it, you, when they rolled up the windows, you could actually see the lights of, of the highway and everything reflected off the windows and everything. You just couldn't see inside the car, which was actually just as bright. And so, um, I was actually stunned by that. And so I was wondering, you know, <clears throat> did I do something wrong? Like put my finger over, over the, the camera lens, you know, uh, unconsciously or something like that. But no, we can see everything else except for inside the cab of the car. So what's going on here? Um, well, as I was making the video tonight, uh, I, I stopped in a dead end alley in, in the same neighborhood and, um, another, uh, another, pair of these guys came through in a truck and um, they didn't realize I was in a dead end and they had to reverse out and while they were re reversing out I actually got the same thing on camera and these guys their interior was all lit up um, they had uh, they had a, a computer it wasn't a police computer this wasn't a police truck um, the, the, but these people had some interesting technology because they had the windows rolled down and you'll see as long as the windows rolled down there's a complete blackout with within a certain proximity of the cab of this truck, uh, just like with that car in this last video. So um, twice in two days, I've managed to catch the same technology on video where it's actually a blank out, blanking out video, uh, video um, capturing. Okay, so back to last night. Um, as it turned out, it wasn't a single directional speaker that I was hearing from these vehicles. It actually wasn't coming from these vehicles at all. Um, the Trans-Canada Trail is on the embankment in between the highway and the road that I was staying on. And um, it, apparently there, were, there was somebody um, or some people um, congregated there out of sight and uh, would spark up these loud conversations every time anybody else was anywhere near me um, so that I would think that it was coming from them or, you know, this single directional speaker thing. Um, so that, that I ended up solving that mystery at about two o'clock in the morning where, where they, uh, where they, where they just had a conversation out of the blue uh, with no traffic around, nobody else around, and I was able to, you know, hear the conversation coming from the trail and, and actually track down where on the trail it was coming from and, and record it, and then Buddy rode off, and, and uh, it turned out to be like a radio he was playing or something like that, um, and he was just standing there playing a loud radio. Um, so anyways... Um, yeah, so this morning I woke up to a white truck that looks surprisingly like uh, the white truck to um, the honking truck in week two of smoking. And um, so, I mean, like, it just seems like, it, you know, you, you just see this event after event after event happen where it seems like the universe is just antagonizing me while I'm trying to quit smoking. It seems like it's trying to break my peace and serenity and make me go aggro on the world while I'm trying to quit smoking cigarettes, which is the biggest challenge in the world. I mean, for me, because I've been smoking since I was five. So, I mean, trying to quit smoking, it's like I'm saying goodbye to my lifelong friend that I've always relied on when I've been stressed out. And I'm trying to find new ways of doing this. And a lot of that has to do with finding the peace and love within to forgive people for annoying me and and loving the world anyways, regardless of how I feel. Uh, but this is becoming really difficult. I mean, check this out. This dude's one of the dudes that's always driving by me and honking. It's kind of fucking crazy. 
Hope I can get a plate out of this. Phoenix. So what I've done is I've holed myself up in a uh, dead end alley here for the night. Um, after going out and getting some food and stuff, I've just decided, you know, like I, I just I'm, I'm just trying to take my space uh, from humanity and from myself even, and just and just meditate for some time, work on some videos, try to get this first video of the dark side out. I mean, I've been trying to get this light invasion video out, and it seems like just shit is piling up and piling up. And I, I mean, I may as well make it into part of the part of my YouTube channel and show people what's going on in my life, right? I mean, that's what this is all about. There's only two houses on the street and there's already, there's a lot of activity going on. Um, like, I, I, I'm just probably going to go out of town for the next couple of days and find myself a spot where I can meditate and, and just fully release um, the last, you know, change my mind about how I feel and think about cigarettes and, uh, and, and have some space from humanity while I do it. So...